you uh, dodged this question in an interview I listened to. Uh, so let me ask you again here. <laughs> uh, what makes for a beautiful program? What makes for a beautiful program? Yeah. What are the characteristics you see? Like you just said, literate programming. What are the characteristics you see in a program that make you sit back and say, that's pretty good? Well, the reason I didn't answer is because there are there are dozens and dozens of answers to that. Because, because yes. each you can define beauty, the same person will define beauty a different way from hour to hour. I mean, it depends on what, on what you're looking for. It, at one level, you, it's, it's beautiful just if it works at all. <laughs> at another level, it's beautiful if it's if it uh, 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 can be understood easily. It's it's it's, it's, it's beautiful if it uh, uh, if it's literate programming. It's beautiful. It makes you laugh. I mean, uh, yeah. I'm actually so I'm with you. I think beauty, if it's readable. Readable, yeah. Is if you understand what's going on and also understand the elegance of thought behind it. And then also, as you said, wit and humor. I was always, uh, I remember having this conversation. I had this conversation on Stack Overflow, whether humor is good in comments. And I w think it is. Whether humor is good in comments. Like uh, when you add comments in yeah. the code. yeah. Uh, I always thought a little bit of humor is good. <laughs> it shows personality. Mm -hmm. It shows character, shows wit and fun and all those kinds of things mm -hmm. yeah. of, of the personality of the programmer. Yeah, okay. So uh, a couple of days ago, I received a, a wonderful present from my former editor at Aston Wesley. He, he, he's downsizing his house and he found uh, th that somebody at the company had had found all the all of their internal files about the art of computer programming from the 1960s, mm -hmm. and they gave it to him. Uh, and then, uh, you know, before throwing throwing it in the garbage, and then he, so he said, "Oh yeah, he, he he planned to keep it for posterity, but now he realized that posterity is a, a bit too much for him to handle, so he sent it to me." <laughs> uh, and so, and, and so I just received uh, th this big big stack of. Of letters, uh, some of which I had written to them, but but many of which they had written to early guinea pigs who were who, telling them whether they they should publish or not, you know. Mm -hmm. And and one of the things w was uh, uh, in in the uh, in the comments to, to volume one, uh, uh, the the major the major reader was was Bob Floyd, uh, who was my great. Uh, co-worker in the 60s um, died early unfortunately but but uh, uh, and and he, he he commented about the humor in it and, and so, so so we had you know we ran it by me you know says you know keep this joke in or not you know uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, he, you know they also sent it out to focus group <laughs> what do you think about humor in a, in a book about computer programs what's the conclusion? And I stated my philosophy is it says you know the ideal thing is uh, that it's it, it's it's something where the reader knows that there's probably a joke here if he only understood it, and this is a motivation to understand to, to, to think about it a little bit. Um, but, but anyway, it, it it it's a very delicate humor. Is a very, I mean, it's 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 really a. Each each century invents a different kind of humor too. I mean, uh, and, and different different cultures have different different kinds of humor. Um, yeah, like uh, we might, we talked about Russia a little bit offline. Uh, you know, there's dark humor, and yeah. there's <laughs> you yeah, know you got, when, and, when a country goes through something difficult, right? Saturday Night Live and stuff like this, yeah, and, exactly. and, and you know, and Jack Benny. I mean, you know, Steve Allen wrote this book about humor and it was the most boring book for, but he, he was one of my Id, I, idols but but uh yeah it's, it's called the funny men or something like that but yeah okay so anyway i i think it's important to know that that this is part of life and and, and it should be fun and not yeah and, and and so you know i wrote this this organ composition which uh uh is based on the bible but i didn't Refrain from putting little jokes in it. Also, in the music, it's uh, hidden in the music. It's 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 there. Yeah. 
a little humor is okay. Yeah, I mean, not egregious humor. So, so in in this correspondence, you know, there were there were things I said. Yeah, I, I really shouldn't have. I, I really shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, but wow. uh, uh, but other ones, I you know, I insisted on. And I've got jokes in there that no that nobody has figured out yet. In fact, in volume two, I've got a cryptogram, a message mm -hmm. enciphered. And in order to decipher it, you're going to have to have to break an RSA key, which is larger than people know how to break. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, you know, if computers keep getting faster and faster, then uh, you know, may, might be a hundred years, but somebody will figure out what this message is, and they will laugh. I mean, I've got a joke in there. <laughs> <laughs> so that one you really have to work for. 